Hi, and welcome to the third video in a five-part series that goes through deploying Windows 2016 Data Center Edition using HPE Image Streamer within a HPE Synergy environment. The first step in this video will be to create a deployment plan for Windows Server 2016 within HPE Image Streamer. First, go to the menu and then select Deployment Plans. Click on Create Deployment Plan. Provide a name for the deployment plan that's meaningful for your environment. And a brief description of the purpose for the deployment plan. Next, choose a build plan. In this case, HPE Windows Deploy as is. And also select the gold image that we captured in the previous video. Now that we've created a deployment plan within HPE Image Streamer, we'll assign that to a server profile within HPE Composer powered by HPE OneView. From the dashboard, select Server Profiles and then click Create Profile. Provide a name for the new profile and for Server Profile Template, select None. For server hardware, make sure you choose the same hardware type used in the first video when we created the first gold image. Choose the OS deployment plan that we created in the previous step and also assign the same SPP as we used in the first video for consistency across the build deployment process. Finally, add a network connection to the profile which will allow us to make changes to the operating system. The profile will take approximately three minutes to create. In the interest of this video, we can press the time. Once the profile has been created, click Actions and power on the node. Once the server is powered on and is responding on the network, we'll proceed to the next step. Hewlett Packard Enterprise recommends customers align their firmware, drivers and software with the service pack for appliance. We've already performed a discovery and an inventory of the server. We're going to review the components that need updating and perform an upgrade software only as we included the firmware as part of the server profile. Review the components that will be updated and then click deploy to continue. For the interest of this video, we've compressed the time of the deployment. Once it's complete, you can view the log and identify any failures or any retries that are required. Some of the components may require a reboot. Please complete this before proceeding to the next step. Hewlett Packard Enterprise has provided a script within the artifact bundle that can be found on the ImageStreamer GitHub repository and is provided as a link at the end of this video. Copy the image prep script to the host. Then launch PowerShell window with administrator privileges. Move to the directory where you copied the script and execute the script. The script will perform a sysprep as well as create a small partition that will be used during deployment jobs as part of the HP Image Streamer process. Once the script completes, shut down the server for gold image capture in the next step. The final step of this video is capturing the customized image via HPE Image Streamer. First, if you notice from the dashboard, there are two OS volumes. Click on the OS volumes. We can see that volume 86 is assigned to demo wing core customize. This is the profile we created in the second stage of this video. Next, we'll go to gold images. We're going to create a gold image provide a name that's meaningful for the environment and the build process, as well as a brief description of what the image comprises of. 
Finally, we'll choose the OS volume, making sure that we select the correct one, in this case, volume 86, and we'll use the HP Windows Capture as in build plan. The capture process takes approximately 30 to 40 minutes and is dependent on the size of the image. In the interest of this video, we've compressed the time. As you can see, the image has been successfully created. We can see that the image is approximately 10.2 gigabytes. In this video, we created a customized deployment plan, which we used in a server profile to deploy an OS image, customize it and capture it using HPE Image Streamer. For more information, please use the following links.